again. They lose to the Braves by a score of 6-2 to two last night. Hunter Brown bounced back. That was the good news from last night. Bad news is they lose their 6-13. and 13. Hunter Brown bounced back from the worst outing. I would imagine the worst outing of his career at any level. Uh, nine runs in two thirds of an well, inning. Oh yeah, I mean it was it was record breaking. Yeah, bad. so I, I, it was it was the worst. Maybe or something, it was the yeah. worst performance of many 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 pitchers. Yeah, there are many there are loads of pitchers who never had a performance as bad as that. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Hunter Brown went six innings, two runs last night. Said he was happy to bounce back. That was probably the worst, if not one of the worst outings of my life. So, you know, I was chomping at the bit to get back out there. Um, you know, I got my my teammates' support. You know, leading up to this outing, so. You know, I want to go out there and and try and uh, deliver some quality innings for the club. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be in the rotation, so like it's like it. He's going to be in the rotation. I guess the the big question is, all right, how's how's the spot going to manage him? I'm like, I I'm having such a hard time I, where, with the spot because I get frustrated that like in this instance he didn't he didn't pull Hunter Brown quickly enough, sends Dubin out there again through inexperience, but at the same time. They've more pitchers already than anybody in the league, yeah. and they are just beleaguered in so many ways. I don't know if there's a right decision in a lot of these. Uh, when it comes to pulling a guy or leaving him in, um, the cupboard is bare. You're down to you're down to Forrest Whitley. This is yeah. ultimately why Forrest Whitley comes up and is uh, and and is uh, is and, and, and needs to learn how to be a reliever. Yeah, the big criticism I saw last night was that he left Dubin in for the ninth inning. You know, like yesterday, it was two to one. He brings in Hater in yeah. the ninth. So he brings in a closer. The, in this case, the criticism wasn't not bringing in Hater. It was not bringing in Presley, who hasn't pitched in a few days to yeah. pitch the ninth inning. And Dubin had pitched well. Like he had done all right coming in there, and then things just second time through. Like it just completely unraveled on him in the ninth inning, and then the game's over. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. With a nice, they had a nice little rally going at yeah. the at the bottom of the ninth inning. It was just too much of a deficit. Obviously. Yep. 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 So they lose. Afternoon game uh, today, 110 first pitch, J.P. France on the mound for the Astros, so they're trying to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Braves. Um, they, at least, even if they do get swept by the Braves set, they come along with a little pound of flesh or bone, as it were. Um, that hit-by-pitch that Spencer Arigetti hit Al- Ozzy Albies on the toe with the other day, remember he threw that breaking yeah. pitch that yeah, sailed yeah. too far inside on him? Broke yeah. his toe. Ooh. Put him on the I.L. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Wait, and who was it that thwopped Acuna? Was it uh, last night? Was that was it Bregman the hit? No, or was it was it the Meyer? Who was it? Uh, uh, Acuna took a rough one off of his knee. Oh, might I don't have. know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Remember, he might have broken his damn patella on that. He stayed in the game, but it was yeah. a it was a brutal one. Yeah, man. The thing caromed off into left field. It was crazy. Yeah. So Arigetti, at least we got Ozzy Albies. At least we broke a toe of an opposing player. Yeah, keep on hurting these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Take some out of. Sure, it's not it's not like it's a divisional foe or anything. Obviously, but right. Still, why not? There you go. We uh, we owe them. All That's right. Uh, play in in the Western Conference last night. The Lakers move on. The Warriors go home. So the Lakers. No. The Lakers, who've been one of the better teams in the NBA in the second half of the season, um, they beat the New Orleans Pelicans last night, 110-106. to They had a big lead in this game, the Lakers. Let the Pelicans get back in. The big story coming out of this game, two things, Seth. The Lakers winning, obviously, so they move on. They're going to be the seventh seed. Yeah. The Pelicans now, because they lost, they are going to play the Sacramento Kings, who won the other play-in game over the Warriors. But the second second big story coming out of this – the health of star power forward Zion Williamson. Stop me if you've heard this before. Zion Williamson left the game with an injury last night. Um, so he um, he was dominant in the game. This is his postseason debut, and he was awesome, but he was uh, he had to leave the floor in the final minutes of a tight game. And I've not seen any news yet. He had 40 points and 11 rebounds last night, so he was dominating the basketball game. But then with, yeah. with three minutes to go, he went to the locker room. He threw a towel to the floor in disgust as he walked into the tunnel with an apparent injury. They're calling it left leg soreness right now. It's a tough one. If I were Zion Williamson's parents, at some point when he was younger, they should have decided to him play defensive end uh, instead of and focus on that. I feel like he's one of the rare NBA players where I know for certain 
I think he'd be better off in the NFL. He's just he's just too damn big. It's like he's just he cannot be running up and down the court every night at that body weight. Yeah. Um, and at that size. So like uh, whatever. I mean, he's going to do fine financially, but he could have found greatness as a defensive end. That's just what I was going to bring up. I was going to say, you tell me, Seth, if yeah. he's going to wind up making. He's he's on a con- he's in the first year of a contract extension that's going to pay him two hundred million dollars. <laughs> All right, that was a dumb thing I said earlier. <laughs> well, you know, like I don't know if you guys remember back when I said that Zion Williamson should have played football instead of basketball. <laughs> Eighteen seconds ago, it would have been he would have been just as injured playing football oh, realistically. Dude. So you, he might as well do it in a climate-controlled environment. There you yeah, go. there you uh, go. Five-star <laughs> hotels. Yeah, I love. You know what? I you know everything you need to know about the state of the NBA regular season mm-hmm. and whether people care about the regular season or not is the fact that now people are wondering: Is the Warriors dynasty over after they lost a play-in game? Right. Remember. The fact that they were in a play-in game wasn't wasn't a sign that the Warriors the, the, dynasty they were the was seed. over. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I hadn't even thought about that because I'm so yeah. conditioned to it now. Right, right. <laughs> You're like, wait a wait a second. Is the dynasty Dude. over? They're the ten seed. Oh, okay. And then it was over oh before they God. played the game. If it were a normal. And I, then you got Draymond dude. Green. What did you say? Draymond Green afterwards was pressuring over. I, I heard. I, I, I heard the cut. I Green when I'm driving in this morning on Maggie and Perloff. They were playing it. And they're talking about Clay Thompson, who's a free agent. And Clay was abysmal. Clay was 0 for last night. He scored zero yeah. points. He was 0 for 10. He was 0 for 6 from 3. And he's he's been bad this year. It, it's not his fault. He tore an Achilles and he tore a knee. Like, this is what happens. Draymond is pining for Clay to get, like, a max deal or so. Like, oh, yeah, Joe and whoever, the owners, like, they're going to take care of Clay. They're going to oh, take care up. of Like, like what are you talking about, man? Like, Lake up said, uh, remember, they're light years ahead of everybody. Oh, apparently yeah. Apparently they weren't light years ahead of this. No. And okay. they didn't realize that uh, people get old. I bet, they, I bet, man, these Silicon Valley bros, man, yeah. in their mind, you know everything is limitless and there's uh you can do anything lake in his mind at some point thought that they were going to find like the fountain of eternal youth yeah except you know in the form of a, a vial of regenerated dna or something yeah. but it uh it's not working out that way no and draymond green like draymond green the the potentially belly aching about doing what's right or whatnot uh, like his his suspensions are the very reason they had they got off to a 19 and 24 start right 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 god that's such a great point like the, yeah I, i'm asking myself that driving in i'm like man is the dynasty over are we finally rid of the golden state warriors they're the 10 seed dude yeah like it's yeah, yeah. except that no but but it doesn't really matter that they could still be a dynasty because the play-in is just uh i it's just it's a I don't want to say it's an afterthought or anything, but it's just not the it's not the scarlet letter that it would have been in earlier years. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, Blake Griffin retired after 14 seasons yesterday. Oh, yeah, I, I, I completely missed that. Yeah, he I re- grew to like him. I, I like Blake Griffin. I think he's one of the most overrated players of all time, but I oh, like him. Yeah, a lot. but I grew to like him. Yeah, no, I did too. <laughs> I, I I can separate liking somebody and them being overrated for sure. Like, but he was. Like the fact that people like people treated him like he was in the conversation for among the best players in the game. Like he was among the most spectacular dunkers and explosive players. I love as a well, as someone who tiny, those tiny little gator arms that made it impossible for him to def, to defend people. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, I I do like the fact that he fell in love with his jump shot quite a bit when the Rockets were a team that faced yeah. them in the playoffs. Like that, he was on that Clippers team. It had that huge lead against the Rockets in Game Six, and yeah. um, and then couldn't he, score. He in thought the he was Chris Paul. Yeah, so he was like shooting from anywhere. Yep. Um, the yep. biggest thing, you know, what I think tipped the scales in, were some of the creepy stories about Donald Sterling. That I, when Donald Sterling was booted out, like these creepy stories emerged about him, kind of like parading Blake Griffin around as a way to get chicks, and it was just, it was weird. It was really, really weird. Yes. Yep. Um, those are your headlines for today. 